Hey guys, we are in the kitchen tonight cooking uh, one of our favorite quick and easy meals, shredded barbecue chicken. We are going to use our microwave pressure cooker to do it. And the great thing about this product is that you can get the benefits of a pressure cooker in a very short amount of time. We use this barbecue chicken for sandwiches, pizza, what else? Wraps. Uh, wraps, yeah, we love this. So you'll need a can of chicken broth, can of uh, um, some dried Man, mixed onions. onions. We like this rub, it's Jack Daniels chicken rub, uh, liquid smoke, and Worcestershire sauce. And about a pound, or a little over a pound or so of chicken breast or chicken tenderloins. By the way, I'm Greg Eddins. This is my wife, Crystal Eddins. Oh, yeah, that's who we are. No, we didn't introduce ourselves. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take some of this rub and I'm gonna season the chicken right now before we put it in the pressure cooker because it needs it. And you can see I've got a mixture here. I've got one chicken breast and then I've got several tenderloins, and that's just because that's what we had, and it doesn't matter. That's the cool thing about the pressure cooker, is it's gonna break it down and make it easy to shred, whether it's a, a breast like that, or whether it is a tenderloin, and as you can see, I'm using my arm safety gloves. You can also throw them frozen. It does not have to be thawed out. True, true. All right, so we've got the, we've got the chicken seasoned like we want it. So now we're just going to take it and put it into the pressure cooker. Like that. Boom. I use our can opener, and as you can see, there are no sharp edges when you use our can opener. No. Okay. So we're going to add the can of chicken broth. And this is, listen, this is the, the recipe that, that we use. You can do whatever you want to do, obviously. And then we're going to add some of these good old dried onions. I like a pretty good bit of them. Then it's woo, like Worcestershire Shire sauce. About that much, however much you want. I don't measure it. I just go till it's where I think it needs to be. And it's a shot. I like putting this liquid smoke. This is mesquite. I like putting it in this because I'm not cooking it outside, obviously, not in cooking on a barbecue or anything like that, but it infuses a little bit of a smokiness uh, to it. So what we can see here is that the, the fill line is way up here. So we're a little bit low on water. So what we wanna do is make sure we've got enough liquid so that we just cover um, the chicken. So I was gonna grab a cup here. And we'll put some water in here to kind of cover it up a little bit better so you can see that's that's much better and now we're going to line up the arrows twist it lock it in place and then we'll put it in a microwave for 15 minutes and we'll be coming back after this thing's through uh, to kind of finish it up and show you what all happens okay so the microwave just went off the chicken's been in the pressure cooker in the microwave for 15 minutes so i'm going to take it out um, because we got to let it cool down a little bit now i'll say this i'm using the handles here to take this out it's not real, real hot i would advise that you use pot, pot holders or something oven mitts to get it out um, but here it is and as you can see this little yellow stem is sticking up that's our our safety switch if you want to call it that if i open this up right now it's going to go everywhere so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this to go down it usually takes five to ten minutes depending uh, and once this seats back in uh, the way it, it normally is then it'll be safe to open up so we're going to take a break and while that's doing that and we'll be back as soon as it's over okay so we took it out of the microwave and we've let it sit here I don't know if you can see all the way, but this little yellow stem is now back where it belongs. So what we're gonna do is pop it open and twist it and ease the top off like that. Ooh, look at that. And I'm gonna set this in a sink. All right, so now we've got all this chicken. It smells so good. It does smell good, doesn't it? And what I'm gonna do is just spoon it out, ladle it out. I think this is a Tupperware ladle. <laughs> So, so many uses. 
And you're putting that in our modular, right? I'm putting it into mm -hmm. a, what am I calling it? Modular, 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 it's a modular mate. It's a modular mate. This is a great, uh, a great little find for doing this because you know, it's, it's kind of tough when you're trying to shred something as small as a, a chicken breast tenderloin like that. So now I've got, of course, shredding claws that I use for like pork butts when we do pulled pork, things like that. But what I found is, is in the case of tenderloins, especially it's a little bit, it's a little bit too much. So I'll use these to kind of help pop up this breast, the one that was whole in there, and then we'll, we'll use the forks as we need to. But it doesn't matter how you do it or what tool you use to do it. And if you wanted to let it cool enough so you could just do it with your hands, you could do it with your hands. You just want to shred it up and you can do this. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Obviously you can make it as chunky as you want, or you can shred it really fine. And obviously that makes it go a little bit further. Uh, if you, if you shred it fine, we kind of, we kind of vary depending on what we're planning on doing. But so many times when we make this because it's just us, right? Um, we'll have it tonight and we may make, uh, what are we making tonight? What are we eating tonight? We're eating this tonight. Yeah, I know, what are we making it with? What are we having? I think I'm gonna have a wrap. We're doing Weight Watchers, so this is a low calorie meal that we can have. Very low calorie. Um, with our Weight Watchers. And then we have this barbecue sauce that is so good. It's also um, on our Weight Watcher plan. It's sugar-free barbecue sauce, and you cannot even tell it's sugar-free. Yep. And the best thing about it is it tastes great, and it's zero points on the Weight Watchers blue plan, which is what we're on. All right, so I'm making, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but I really, I really like it like I like it. Now here's the thing to remember. Uh, when you're doing shredded anything, you get good seasoning on the outside of the meat. But once you shred it like this, you've got meat from the inside that really hadn't been seasoned. So what I learned a long time ago uh, was that once I get it shredded, whether it's chicken or whether it's pork or, or whatever it is, I, I take my seasoning, my Jack Daniels chicken seasoning in this case, that you already put up, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Because if I taste this right now, it's gonna be okay, um, but it's not gonna be as flavorful as I would like for it to be. And you know what, I've done this whole thing using these claws, so. But that's because this thing kept them in, and check. So good for this. Alright, so now I'm shredded up right where I want to be. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of my seasoning and I'm going to liberally sprinkle it on the top here. And I'm gonna go into my magic drawer and bring out another pair of my hazmat orange gloves. Thanks, pandemic. For making my normal gloves unavailable <laughs> but hey and then i'll just take my hands and i'll kind of massage this into it massage and i'll look for <laughs> and i'll look for like bigger pieces and again this is just me my personal preference but i look for bigger pieces that i maybe didn't get completely shredded like i want them to and i break them up with my fingers although it's, it's hot and even with these gloves these gloves are thick but i can still feel it pretty warm okay so now i've done that and i'm gonna take a little taste can you show them so i can see what it looks like yep again okay i'm gonna add a little bit more of this because it's not quite where i want it i like it to have a uh i really like it to have a, a an impactful flavor oops i'm still gonna piece out i'm not gonna pick it back up and put it in there because i know i'll get in trouble if you weren't here watching this, I probably would. You're slinging it if on. she wasn't here watching this, I probably would. Okay. Now, I think we're probably good here. Yes. All right. Now, take your barbecue sauce. If you want to do it, you might put barbecue sauce on it now. We do because we like the barbecue flavor. It's, that's kind of our deal with this dish. Okay. Take your barbecue sauce. Do the same thing. Just mix it up. And you can use a... Uh, spoon or a, that whatever that was I used 
to get the chicken out. You could use whatever. I just find it easier and more efficient for me to do it with my hands. And see, let me show you something. I found this little piece of gristle in here, off of, probably off that chicken breast. And so it's good if you use your hands, you can find those things and get them out. All right, so now I put some barbecue sauce on it. It's time to taste it again. You gonna take a taste? You gonna try it? Sure. Let me see. Mm, it's really good. Good, is that enough? Yeah. I'm happy with it as well. Okay, so now we've got this modular mate, pretty much full of really good shredded barbecue chicken. This whole thing, if you if you start from the beginning, um, it literally takes 20, 20, 25 minutes. And, and as far as work on it goes, it's you saw how quick it was. So it's easy, it's quick, it's delicious. It's a great way to use the microwave uh, pressure cooker. And uh, I hope that somebody will get some use out of this. And if you like something or you didn't like to or you just wanna comment, uh, put some comments in the comment section below, but keep them nice, okay? <laughs> All right, are we through? Done. Until next time, thanks. Bye, guys.